Hi, this is Andrew Repke with the Utah Geological Survey. I'm part of the Energy and Minerals program at the survey, and I specialize in industrial minerals. And I want to thank the Utah Mining Association for this opportunity to give you all a little update on some of the things that we've been working on that you may find of interest. For the next few minutes, what I want to do is discuss a couple of reports that we've put out this year related to the mining industry in Utah. Those reports are our annual mining report, Utah Mining 2019, and a report on critical minerals of Utah. Uh, first, I want to start with the mining report. Our Utah mining report is something we produce annually. And it generally provides an update on mining production and activities that occurred in the previous year. So this report covers activity in 2019, but also covers uh, some activity that, that occurred in early 2020. We look at the various mining sectors, including metals, industrial minerals, and coal. And we also delve into exploration activities across the state. Uh, this report's uh, available for free off our website. Um, you can see the link there. And this report's generally a group effort of a number of us in the Energy and Minerals program. To summarize a little bit of the data from the report, um, Utah's extractive resource production in 2019 totaled six and a half billion dollars. And that number includes uh, both mining and oil and gas production. Digging down into, into the mining numbers, um, 3.9 billion of that 6.5 billion is from mining. Uh, 1.8 billion of that is in production value from base metals. And then 1.3 billion is production value from industrial minerals. 480 million from coal and then 375 million from precious metals. Now I want to touch on a few of Utah's mining industry highlights. Utah remains the only domestic producer of several commodities, including beryllium concentrates, magnesium metal, potassium sulfate, and gilsonite. Utah also remains only one of two states to produce potash in the U.S. Uh, the U.S. Geological Survey ranked Utah seventh as far as production value of non fuel minerals, which includes both metals and industrial minerals. And that's one step up from the previous ranking uh, from last year, which was eighth. Also, each year the Fraser Institute surveys mining companies on the favorability of, of given mining jurisdictions. These include uh, both state and country jurisdictions across the globe. Utah was ranked 14th out of 76 jurisdictions that were surveyed. Uh, this is actually a drop in ranking. Utah was seventh last year. Um, and these favorability uh, rankings include both mineral potential, potential for a jurisdiction and um, how mining companies perceive uh, policy favorability uh, towards the mining industry in a given jurisdiction. Within the mining report, you'll find several graphs and figures that track trends across the Utah's mining industry for the last several years. Uh, this is an example of produced mineral value uh, from the various mining sectors in Utah. You'll also find maps that provide information on Utah's mining industry. Um, and there's quite a bit more detail uh, beyond what I've just shown in these few slides. So I do encourage you to go to the, uh, the link provided and download that report and have a look. So for the last couple of minutes, I wanna talk about our critical mineral report. Uh, that summarizes Utah's critical mineral resources. This is a report that was authored by Stephanie Mills and myself, and this is also available on our website for download, and you can see the link at the bottom of the slide here. I want to draw your attention to the uh, 
periodic chart that you see here. Uh, and this kind of shows how we broke down Utah's critical mineral resources. In the red there, you can see critical minerals that are actively being produced. In the blue, you see critical minerals that have established or defined resources within the state. And then if you look at green and purple categories, green shows critical minerals that have some potential within the state. And then uh, the purple shows critical minerals that occur within the state, but have relatively less potential for future production. And then finally in the gray, we show uh, critical minerals that, that are essentially not found in Utah. The report itself provides detail on each critical mineral commodity, including information like why a given mineral is considered critical, important deposit types globally, and then we hone in on the geology of Utah's uh, particular resources. This slide just shows a couple of maps taken from the report showing locations of potash resources as well as uranium and vanadium resources. So please go to the website and, and download the report. So finally, I just uh, want to point you to our website where we have uh, all of our publications are available for free download. Uh, that big yellow arrow there is showing the, the link to our publications site. And I just want to encourage you um, to reach out and contact us. We have lots more information on Utah's mineral resources available. Uh, so don't, don't hesitate to contact us. My contact information is at the bottom of the screen. Um, and the entire Energy and Mineral staff uh, has contact information on our website. So please, please contact us. And uh, thank you for your attention for a few minutes, and thanks again to the Utah Mining Association.